Hey Chili Heads. Today we're gonna make a Bloody Mary and we're gonna feature the Melinda's Jalapeno Ketchup. And I want you to know that this is a heat level I like, but you always have all of our ketchup. So you can choose from, you can go habanero, make it a little hotter, chipotle, make it a little smokier, ghost pepper, make it super hot. So, but I'm gonna stick with the jalapeno. First of all, three cups of tomato juice. This is a trick I learned working in the French Quarter in New Orleans. If you are vegan, vegetarian, you don't have to do this. This makes a Bloody Mary amazing. It's a little beef stock. I'm gonna add that right in there like that. And then we're gonna get that ketchup in there. About a half a cup of ketchups. Oh yeah. Make it rain, ketchup. Yeah. Next, we're gonna add some lime juice. Of course, you have to have the hot horseradish. Make sure you go buy that in the refrigerated section and not off the shelf because you want it to be hot. One, two, three, a little extra. We're gonna get a couple dashes of Lee and Perrins in there. A little beefy flavor. I always love the Lee and Perrins. Okay, and you can see my recipe on Melinda's.com to get the exact measurements for everything. I love pick a pepper. Shout out to the backers. And then, you know, most people rim with salt or tagine or something. I thought, you know what? Why not use Mike Starr's Blazing Star Porkin'? Now, the secret weapon here is a few dashes of this Melinda Scotch Bonnet sauce. And it's always my favorite to beef up a Bloody Mary. Now comes the fun part. We drink Bloody Mary. It's got Melinda's in it. It's gonna be a Bloody Melinda's. Vodka. One for you and one for me. Celery in there. Mm. Cheers, people.